for eight years, her and I had a strange relationship where I could not have more than a conversation of, hi, mom, doing good, love you, bye. Matthew McConaughey getting candid about his relationship with his mom. I tried to change her. I need you as a mom right now, not a fan. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have it. He opened up about their complicated dynamic on the Wind Down with Jana Kramer podcast. I could not have more than a conversation of, hi, mom, doing good, love you, bye. Anything she asked me, I couldn't tell her personally because I she didn't have a governor. She could go to the... She'd go to the press. She showed up on hard copy, taking people through my childhood rooms. And this is where he lost his virginity. And I'm like, mom. (laughs) Matthew went on to explain that he and his mom have since repaired things. But he says for a while, she was so caught up in his fame that he felt he couldn't share his life with her. What I tried to pull off was I kept trying to go, well, I'm going to give you more information to see if I can trust you with it again. Mm. And it was like, well, quit trying to prove that point. Just don't give it to them. <laughs> don't give them that much. And just go, that's where our relationship is. And let's let's make it healthy and fun with what we can both handle. And it seems some of the relationship struggles didn't stop with just him. In August, Matthew's wife, Camila Alves, revealed that she didn't see eye to eye with his mom when they first started dating. She did all these things when I first came in the picture, right? And she's really testing me. I mean, really testing me. She would call me by all of Matthew's ex-girlfriend's names. She would start speaking Spanish with me in a very broken way, kind of putting down a bit. I mean, all kinds of stuff. A lot of fans sympathize with the model's experience in wanting to win the approval of her mother-in-law. But according to Matthew, it was all part of the McConaughey family experience. The stuff she said about my mom, my mom calling her a different name, that rite of passage, that initiate. Some people are like, oh my gosh. You're like, no, this was was great. And Camilla wasn't wounded about it either. It was just, just, it's funny. It's for some people, you know, I mean, look, we say this all the time in my family and uh, what tickles us may bruise others. I'm not changing her. That's mom. She tested my feelings and tested the woman that I had the feelings for. Mm -hmm. That's kind of, in the the big picture, you're like, it's pretty cool, actually. And the woman that I was in love with, went right through it. And when she went through it and stood up and said, hey, Miss McConaughey, let me tell you something. My mom went, there we go. There she is. <laughs> Welcome, there you go. man. Yeah. You know? She wants to be in the life. She loves it. And it's a true story. You know, like I wasn't making it up. I wasn't exaggerating. It's just a real story. Uh, things like that do happen. And I think the most important thing is not necessarily to be stuck on the story. It's the fact that we got pass it we got it to the other side with joy with laughter you know and right now like she's one of my best friends like she's my buddy like she really is 